everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So in today's video, I thought I would show you how I get this transformer apart. It came out of a stereo receiver, a Pioneer, I believe. And I'm going to get it apart by just using a hammer. Now these types of transformers, along with microwaves, they are held by a weld on both sides. I'm going to set this out of the side. So like I talked about in my first video, transformers are put together with I's and E's, like this. And then the next layer is alternated, so the E is the other direction, and then the I. But these types of transformers are positioned where all the E's are stacked up on each other and all the I's are stacked up and it's held together by a weld, which you can kind of see the weld right here. So these are so much easier than the other style that I showed you. Now I will say that I have found once one of these transformers that had a weld on top, but they were the alternating I's and E's. The best way to tell if this is a kind of transformer that you can take apart with a hammer is go to the I section and I just get a little knife and I just get between a layer here and pop it up and use side cutters to hold on to. And there's one. If you can get two or three of these eyes to come off, then you will know this is the type of transformer you can take apart with a hammer. And in my opinion, this is the easiest way to do it. Okay, so I, I'm I'm positive this is eyes and ease welded together. Now, if you don't have a hammer or a vise or you can't use a hammer for whatever reason, maybe you're concerned about noise or maybe you injured your shoulder, you can't swing a hammer, you could just keep doing this one layer at a time and eventually all these layers will come off. So it, that is one way you can do it. It will take a lot more time, but it is an option. Okay, so the first thing I got to do is I got to break off this plastic stuff. So this will fit into my vise. Now, you can use a hammer, you can use a screwdriver, whatever works for you. hammer works a little messy but that's okay you get in there and you can pry I hit it with the hammer whoops okay that should be good enough you just clip some of these wires get this plastic kind of out of the way All right, so basically, you, you just want to get enough so it'll sit into the vise. All right, so I'm going to move my camera over here to the vise. Okay, you guys can see good. Okay, so that's the I side, and this is the E side. So I'm just setting it into the vise. Clamp it down really well. Make sure the eyes are overhanging the vise. So I gotta go somewhere to go. All right. Safety glasses are a must. Okay. So on this side of the weld, I'm just gonna start hitting it with the hammer. Most of them came off. Just gotta get the rest of them there. Okay, 
there it is. Super easy. Now, I'm going to set this part down in the vise like this. And just, you don't have to clamp it down. Just, just make so, you just rest it on these edges right here. Because you, if you have it tight, then the metal has nowhere to go. Took my glasses off. Just pound in the middle. Whoa! You guys almost tipped over. Now, in here, if you have a smaller hammer, you can continue on. If not, I've got... Let's see if I can find it real quick here. Just hang tight with me. Where'd it go? Well, I seem to have misplaced it, but basically, this is not the tool I was looking for, but you can take an old short bolt and then just put it in there and just pound on the top and it'll push those through. Whatever works for you. Okay. There's metal. All right. See how easy that was? And that'll work for that kind of tra uh, transformer and also transformers that you find in microwaves. So this is a piece of copper here. So I'm going to cut it off. Come on, buddy. It's a nice piece of copper. I love these transformers out of receivers. They pretty much always have that copper band wrapping around it. Okay, so now we're just left with all this copper and a lot of plastic, which we obviously have to clean off. If you take this into the scrapyard like this, they're just going to give you copper transformer prices, which will be probably, I don't know, maybe 15 cents a pound. We're always at my scrapyard. Okay. So, I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up. And while I do that, I just want to give a few shout outs to some channels. These are channels that I subscribe to and watch their videos, and I really like them. Now, before I get into that, however you need to break this plastic apart, it, it's up to you. You can smash it all with a hammer. I don't normally do that because it just makes such a mess, and then that's just more stuff to clean up. But I got one of the coils free, and so you can... I don't want that part. Just unwind it like that. So let me uh, adjust the camera a little bit. Not doing anything exciting, just pulling this copper out. And there's the inner inner piece. We'll get to those shout outs here in just a second as soon as I stop making all this noise. Okay. And of course so there's a little plastic on here or tape. Get that off. Just bunch this copper up as well as you want i try to make it as small as possible just so i can maximize the room inside my bucket so there's the first one i've still got that one but before i continue a few shout outs so the first one is to a channel called cruiser mac now all these guys are really wonderful you know we all scrap and we all have ways that we do stuff some of us do stuff the same way others a little bit different 
But go check out their channels. Hit their subscribe button. I know they would really appreciate it. So Cruiser Mac, Scrap and Salvage, Scrap Rodriguez, really nice guy. Go check out his channel. Wannabe Scrapper, although I don't know what's wannabe about him. He seems like a legit scrapper to me. Scrapper Brad, Sarge is scrapping. I believe he's a retired veteran, so go show him some love. We've got to support our veterans. Bush Dog Scrapper, The Southern Scrap Bucket, See You Scrapping with Roger. And then there is Scrapping Irish. Got to love the Irish. Scrapping Pallet Man. I really like his channel and his videos. Thub Print. That's T H U B Print. He was one of the first guys I ever started following a couple years ago. Oki Scrapper. I love Oki. Check out his channel. Check out all these guys' channel. They're all great. Shark Scrapper. Now, if you've got questions about e waste, check out Shark Scrapper's channel. He's got great videos. And there's a company called BoardSort.com here in the U.S. that we can sell e-waste to. Um, Shark Scrapper's got some great videos talking all about that. Canadian Treasure Hunter. That guy scraps so much metal. It's incredible. I think last year he scrapped over 100,000 100, pounds of metal. Absolutely impressive. Project Shop Florida. That guy scraps some big copper cable. And we're talking, he's dealing with five to a thousand pounds at a time. It's incredible. Big Stacked, he's in Australia. Um, check him out. He melts metal and makes entertaining videos. And then last but not least, Mike the Scavenger. That guy is very entertaining. I think you guys would really enjoy his channel. So yeah, um, you can go to my channel. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. But while you're there, you can click under channels, and it'll have the list of every guy that I just mentioned. So go please show them some love. Tell them I sent you. Okay. Let's get some of this plastic out of the way. Now there's this last coil. Now, you can unwind it by breaking off these edge pieces here. That's one way you, you can do it. Or you can just cut along here like I showed you with smaller transformers in my very first video. Let's see how this goes here. I don't know if you can see this. There's a little bit of the corner hanging up. You want to clean this off as best as possible. Otherwise, you just fight it. So, you just pull it off like that. I think you get the idea. I'm just going to finish this off real quick. See, what's going on is these sharp bits right here. When I'm pulling the copper up, it keeps catching it, slowing me down. So, it's really brittle plastic. Clean it out of the way and make sure you get it all out of there. A little bit more. ball up my bits of copper right here and what's great is the transformers and stereo receivers i've done a lot and they've always been copper unlike microwaves where it's just a real hit or miss as you can see made a little bit of a mess but hey that's part of working right all right so there's one coil there's that coil and that piece I'm going to flip you around. We're going to check out the scale and see what kind of weight this got. There we are. Zeros. And what did we get? Oop, there we are. 
one pound, nine ounces. So basically a pound and a half. So not too bad. Depending on where you live, that could be a really good payday. You know, I know some places up in Canada, they're getting over $4 a pound. So six bucks if you're in Canada, not too bad. So yeah, that's my video. I sure do thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I just hope you have a great day. Up here, you'll see my profile picture. Just click on that to subscribe. Super easy. I'd really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I just thank you, God, for this day. I thank you for my new scrapping friends. And I ask you, God, that you will bless their channel. Lord, I pray that you will help them reach the goals that they have. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, my friends. I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, take care.